If there was ever a time that we need to pray, the time is right now. But what does prayer mean to you? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Psalms 91 says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. But what is the secret place of the Most High? The secret place of the Most High is prayer. Matthew 6, verse 6, Jesus said, Pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. What is prayer? Prayer is a direct communication with God and man, a two-way relationship in which man should not only talk to God, but also listen to him. God is more interested in our hearts when we pray than words that we, that we speak, unless our words are coming from our hearts. The secret place, remember, the secret place is a deeper reality where the enemy cannot enter. So how should we pray and how do we pray? Let's break down the Lord's Prayer. In Matthew 6, Jesus gave his disciples specific instructions how to pray. And he started by saying, Our Father, which art in heaven. Right there, we are to acknowledge that he is our Father because this solidifies the relationship that, he, that he's not only God, but also Father, who is a supernatural being in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Right here, we show reverence and respect to the Father, recognizing that he is a holy God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You and I want to see God's kingdom become established, not only in our lives, but in the, out there in the world, especially where things are right now. Also for his will to be done and not our own desires. Then give us this day our daily bread. We are encouraged to ask God, who is our father, for his provision that we need on a daily basis, his guidance, his protection. Basically, Lord, be present in my life on a daily basis. Then, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. This is a time of repentance and reflection before God being clean and cleansed. So we must confess our sins before him while we are forgiving others. And then he says, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. This is a petition to our father to help in achieving victory over sin and a request for protection from the attacks of the enemy. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. All power, all glory belongs to the Lord, who is our Father, and he is our God. Philippians 4 is the prayer that I have for us right now, and it says, be concerned for nothing, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made unto God and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Listen, our world is in a turmoil right now. There are so many uncertainties that are out there. So let us get together. Let us pray. Come with me and enter into that secret place of the Most High so that you and I can abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I am Alison Cornelius and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought. <music>